bro. A cow getting abducted by aliens. This is a this is a classic. This is a classic alien story tale or whatever crop circle kind of thing but jesus man dan 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 never ceases to literally surprise me every chapter man let's get into it guys dan 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 chapter 27 guys it's been a week week has passed and we're blessed every monday with the dan 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 chapter and i've said it before maybe i say it too many times but i'm gonna keep saying it dan 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 is so random you really can't predict where this series is gonna go. Like I, I can't even I couldn't I couldn't even tell you where exactly it's going. All I could say is this world involves aliens and Shikai, uh, Kappa aliens slash demons, and there's some mystical powers. But other than that, this story is completely open. And I hope a lot of people realize that you really but the the thing I like about this series is it could go in so many different directions because it is kind of sort of like a slice of life with all these elements inside of it, right? So anyway, man, let's get into it because this chapter is something else, right? So we got the Kappa. Um, he's eating. Uh, he's talking about how the food tastes terrible and I find it kind of funny that he's eating... Um, He's eating Toro, but he's basically eating fish, which he's kind of like a capo crab, um, amphibious creature, right? So I find it kind of ironic. And then we got Momo and Ayase, or Momo and Ayase. We got Ira and Momo arguing in the back, and then you see Ken also getting kicked as well. So him and the uh, him and the Kappa both fall at the same time. I thought this was a funny little entrance panel to the chapter. Um, and Ken's getting kicked by the um, turbo granny right and they're arguing back and forth um the uh, granny is basically saying you know you're a kappa just eat the food uh ken's getting beaten up because he ate the uni that belonged to the turbo granny and then ira and momo always arguing and then we get into the nitty-gritty of what's really been going on with this guy right so essentially his son is sick right and Apparently, he loses blood when he poos and pees, um, which is kind of, oof, kind of, that's something else, man, um, I, and I've, I've heard of some people having that issue, too, but yeah, he basically loses blood when he goes to the bathroom, essentially, right, and he needs a daily transfusion, and his wife apparently died from the same illness, and then he starts talking that, you know, for his treatment he needs. And then he goes into, like, some alien lingo. Um, and you can kind of infer what the alien lingo means. But he says he needs his, like, alien currency to pay for it. And he said, my... And then it's another alien lingo, so you can't really understand it. But he's basically saying, my country, or wherever he lives, is in a conflict zone, right? Which is some alien battle going out there, as you can see by the panel um which we don't know what's really going out there and who knows if we'll even explore that world right um and then he says we alien lingo have tough bodies so whatever his kind is called apparently they're really tough and they're also fighters that's why they typically work as bodyguards but he's saying he's essentially weak there's no work for someone like him, and that's why his wife died, and that's why he can't provide for his son, because he's pathetic, right? And so, uh, Katakura Ken is basically, or Takakura Ken is basically um, sympathizing with them, saying, you know what, man, I've been there. If you, if you, <laughs> I thought this was funny, he's basically saying, if you take my banana, quote unquote, would it save your son? So he's that, like, he's that invested into helping him that he's willing to do that and you know they'll figure out how to get it back later but Ayase butts in saying you know he needs consistent money doing something like that wouldn't necessarily help which is true for sure but um Ken stands firm and basically says you know I want to help him I, you know he can't just pretend that this doesn't bother him and then of course we get a little banter between Ira and Momo and Ira's basically saying look I get it back for you you know I'm unlike <laughs> And she says, the kind of woman who won't, uh, because after she says, I get it back for you, 
Ayase says to shut up. And, you know, they, they go back and forth all the time. But when it comes to Ken, like, she definitely gets upset. Momo. And then she says, the kind of woman who won't support Takokura when he says he wants help to uh, help someone. Or when he wants to help someone could never be his partner and so they go back and forth on that right and so what happens is he's about to leave he appreciates all the heartfelt concern but he has to go but then granny out of nowhere she says about your blood it's rank and then there's a little joke saying hey you can't say that and then uh, Ken says it's alienism. It's not PC. I found that kind of funny, right? And then she says your blood is a white fluid and You know she could smell the blood through his soaked bandages and what was funny is it reminded her of cleaning up milk so there's a panel of this Yuji intense milk so apparently his blood is milk, right? He drinks it and he's like wait, this is the very same, it's our blood. And I'm I'm literally sitting here like, okay, what is going on? So this Kappa alien has blood milk, right? And at first you're like, I don't know how that makes any sense at all. I know it's Dandadam, but you know, how does that make any sense? Um, so <laughs> basically, um, yeah, like, like I said, the bandages smelled like uh, used up milk. And then she says it's kind of similar to like the blood of cows in a sense is milk, even though it technically it's not, but you know, they produce milk is what she's trying to say. Um, and then he mentions that, oh, you know, it's a little weak though. And then she said, well, it's diluted for human consumption, but I know a farmer, we can get you a cow. And then there's this giant spread, literally, of a cow being abducted by aliens. And let me tell you something. That if this isn't some roundabout way of trying to make the whole conspiracy of like aliens abducting cows i don't i don't if you're if you're kind of sort of into like alien conspiracy and ufos there's been like plenty of stories of like cows being abducted and researched along with people too and it typically happens in like really open um farmland areas where there's not a lot of people at least that's where we hear a lot of the stories so i found this hilarious this panel is just ridiculous just the cow being beamed up right and then they're all watching from the sidelines and he's like you know thank you i'll never forget you if you ever need help i'll be on your side right <laughs> and i love how um ken yells out cow mutilation as it's like being beamed up <laughs> and uh <laughs> Also, too, Ayase is like, now do you believe in aliens, Granny? And, he's, and she's like, no, it's not an alien, it's a Kappa. And I mean, the lore of Kappa, it could be a demon slash alien. It's really up to whatever story or interpretation. So she's kind of not wrong. Anyway, we get kind of towards the end of the chapter, and all three of them are begging for new uniforms because their uniforms got destroyed when they were doing the fight, right? So they basically are trying to finesse her out of her money and they're all bending down begging her and momo is kind of looking devious talking about you know as if she's done this before but ken mentions you know this is our third time asking for uniforms so granny basically says i'll buy ira and ken's but for momo she has to do a hiroshi abe impression and i was like who the heck is that so i looked it up apparently he's this uh japanese actor he's been in a couple films and he's a model as well so uh, the joke didn't really get me because I don't know this actor personally or not. Well, not personally, but I've never seen any of the movies he's in. But <laughs> I do like the the face she gave. Right. And she's like she's saying rocket engine valve. So I tried looking that up, too, because she's trying to do the impression. Right. And I think that impression is from a movie he was in in 2015 called Downtown Rocket. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. But. I found it funny because she looks crazy in that panel, <laughs> right? And then someone rings the door and Granny's like, you know what, go open it, but don't, don't change your, um, don't change your tone and don't change your impression. So the door opens and we see this guy and pretty tall dude. 
and he's like momo and then momo says Gigi. and then granny mentions oh your mom told me you were coming by and momo's like why are you here and then ken asks who's that and it's her childhood friend and first love so ken is sweating which i don't blame him because childhood friend and first love yeah <laughs> So now we have another, man, I don't, I don't know where this is going to go, but now we may have another possible love triangle, something going on, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think this will be interesting. Um, this will definitely make for some interesting couple of chapters because in my opinion, I'm convinced that, I mean, obviously Momo likes Ken, right? But We'll see what happened between these two, and, you know, apparently it seems like they haven't seen each other in a while, so, you know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, man, that's the chapter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Great chapter overall, man. See you guys next week.